move the camera. Wow. <laughs> Welcome back to Quarantine Cooks. Today we're doing a breakfast themed cuisine. I'm your host Katie Hogg and we're doing a granola smoothie bowl. A fry up. And chocolate chip flapjacks. So first we're going to be making the smoothie bowl which is a nice fruity berry, oh I don't know there's not actually any berries in here, it's all from the strawberry but we're going to make a nice smoothie with some granola. So it's basically add a bit of everything into a blender with some water and frozen banana, and then you've got a nice smoothie as the base. So let's do that. So I've added all the things. You can see there's some grapes, raspberries, and pineapple. Last but not least is frozen banana. That's gonna give it the thickness and um, nice cold chill. To it. This is just one small banana cut up into tiny little pieces, actually frozen together. So you just kind of have to break that up and put it in as much as you want. If you don't want it that banana -y, don't add that much banana. Everything is added. Last but not least, we're going to add some water up to a little bit lower than the fill line if you want it thicker and less drinkable. So just about there, and we're going to bend that until it's nice and smooth. In a bowl, we're going to add half of our smoothie to one side. I know it's going to sprue out a bit, so it doesn't really matter. And then some granola, that can be any granola. We're just using simple granola by Sainsbury's onto one side try not to spill it everywhere and then you're done and then it's a nice healthy breakfast and very quick and easy so now we're on to the fry up so first we're going to start with four cut baby potatoes and boil part boil them while we start the other ingredients so this is we're just taking some boiling water and adding the baby potatoes so now there's going to be a lot of things going on on the stove so first we're going to start cooking our sausages we're just using richmond um, and we've added a tiny little bit of oil into a large pan and you just have to add sausages onto it. I can't get it out. There you go. We're doing four but it's whatever you want. And we're just going to wash our hands, make sure the oil is coated around the whole pan and see you when they're partly cooked. While Theo is turning the sausages, we're going to start cutting up the baby mushrooms. We're going to use about four um, baby mushrooms for this meal. And we're just going to cut them into nice slices so they cook quick and they're nice and tasty. So just about that thickness, just nice and mushroom shaped. Going to the saucepan and then we're going to add a little bit of vegetable oil and cook them until nice golden brown. So I've just taken off the potatoes in about five minutes and they're nice and partly cooked. And after the bacon's finished cooking, we'll drain the potatoes out and fry them on the big pan with the oil already from the bacon. So I've just drained the potatoes and we're gonna add them into the big pan. The mushrooms will be done in a minute. Okay, so once you've added the potatoes into the pan, you want to add like seasoning, salt, pepper. Anything you want. If you wanna, you know, sort of, Spice up a bit, add some chilli flakes, 
paprika, whatever you want. The potatoes are just about done and last but not least we're going to make the scrambled egg. We're just going to do one egg because the person we're cooking it for likes scrambled egg. So, we're going to crack the egg into this, uh, the same saucepan we used for the mushrooms. And quickly get a fork and start whisking that into the saucepan. Not saucepan, just a little frying pan. And make sure that's all incorporated. You can add salt, some pepper, you can even add a little bit of milk to make it more creamy. So we're just going to keep make, make sure it keeps moving. You want it to keep moving so it doesn't burn. And we'll come back when everything is cooked and on a plate. So this is what the final result looks like. So we've got some bacon, sausages, some scrambled egg, mushrooms, potatoes and some slice of toast. Alright, now on to the flapjacks. You're going to add 225 grams of butter into a saucepan. Alright, so you want that on medium to low heat. The gas is not on, it's the gas. There we go. 10 out of 10. 60% <laughs> of the time it works. Every time, you know? So then to that you add 75 grams of golden syrup to the butter along with 225 grams of granulated or brown sugar. If you use brown sugar the flapjacks will come out a lot darker in colour. You just want to keep this like moving so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan because then it's going to be annoying to get it off. Right, come back when it's all done. Well now that the butter's melted, what you want to do now is add 275 grams of oats. Slowly, don't all come at once. Oh, it's all coming at once. So just sort of incorporate that in, you know, stir it a bit. This whole episode is just going to be like pure innuendos at this point. But it'd be like that sometimes. Well, we'll come back when they're all done. But we won't have any, uh, you do the voiceover when you edit it, because yeah. obviously they're being loud. So I think we should put it in there and add the little pieces on top. Chocolate. Yeah. No, chocolate flat jacks are fine. <laughs> right, so we've got all of our mixed oats and in the ingredients in here. We can add just a handful of chocolate chunks quickly because you don't want them to melt and just make them chocolate. Um, Flapjacks, so after that we're going to quickly add them into our tins, put them in the oven for about 30 minutes until they are nice and golden brown and they've cooked and then we'll see you when they're all nice and ready to go into the oven. Okay, so now that you have your flapjack mixture in your, uh, your baking thing, what you want to do is put it in a 165 degree oven until they're cooked, but make sure that they don't burn because of the uh, the high sugar content. Okay. Yep, yeah, now it's done. So this is what the flapjack looks like, complete, nice crispy edges and a soft gooey center.